Hello everybody, my name is Sam Schmidt. Today I'm going to be talking about eSurface, this paper eSurface display platform for rapid discovery of conformationally selective nanobodies uh, found here. Uh, nanobodies are camelid single domain antibody fragments uh, shown schematically here in B. Uh, the issue with them, or one of the issues, is that they come from camelids, which are large animals, and so traditional immunization is both timely uh, and costly. So the authors want to create a synthetic library to get around this issue. In order to do that, they look at the sequences in the PDB, of which there are 93. So they pull all of those and then compare them to find conserve regions um, and where best they can make mutations, uh, shown schematically here in figure one. Also of note um, that CDR3 can have either 7, 11, or 15 residues shown here as well. Um, so they can have a different length of chain. And then using next generation sequencing, the authors determined that they have a good correlation between their designed observed frequency and the frequency that they find these amino acids from the PDB. Using their separate uh, e-surface display with a, a much longer stock region of 649 amino acids to minimize steric hindrance, um, among other reasons, um, they, they have a, a schematic that looks pretty similar to your regular e-surface display. Um, here is a simple schematic to show how they went around uh, amplifying, um, evolving, and selecting their, their clones to enrich their library. Um, and so the authors wanted to do this uh, for clinically relevant biologically relevant targets such as human serum albumin, HSA, um, and beta-2 AR. Um, so to start with, for HSA, they did a couple different rounds of magnetic activated sorting and increased this population of this nanobody they were looking for. And also using size exclusion chromatography, they determined that HSA was in fact binding to this. Um, and then they were able to get the crystal structure for it, shown here, um, as well as the, the conformation change between uh, bound and unbound states of this nanobody. Coming back to the middle with this uh, beta 2 AR GPCR, uh, they wanted to check and see how well they could inhibit uh, function, in this case uh, with adrenaline, and so they found that after a couple rounds of cell sorting, the nanobodies they found did a good job of hindering this. And so the authors co concluded that their synthetic library is as effective as a, an immunized library. Um, if you thought this was interesting, or at least partly interesting, please check out the paper. There was a lot of information I didn't have time to talk about.